then the one of the most important uh the act or the brain of the vehicle which is called the ecu or the ecm um it's very important we know this the brain of the vehicle is also called the brain bus the computer bus whatever in some vehicle it's divided into different segments some have pcm like a control mode just to control the powertrain tcm to control the transmission pcm for the body so different uh, vehicles can divide it into different components but the general aim is that it's responsible for controlling every activities of the engine engine management um the vehicle management not just the engine power train transmission a lot more but in modern vehicle there are several um if you run it hundreds of models so they have been divided to control each component each component but this is um, generally seen as that that focuses on the engine engine uh, management controls the timing the ignition of fuel supply the exhaust supply the air supply all these are being controlled by this system it is a electronic circuit um, with a lot of computer um, programs in it that monitors and controls and interpret them um, with sensors and send signal to actuators to cause adjustment and the regular management of the vehicle it functions just as our brains functions it receives signal and from that signal send interpretation and um, instructions to the engine and the other parts of the vehicle to work according to the instruction it has been given and these um, ECU without the ECU you can um, start the vehicle because even the key first um, has to be programmed to it so when the key you place your key in the vehicle and it sends signal and it agrees with the immobilizer on the ECU then the ECU can allow spark to be generated from the ignition system or even for it to be supplied so it's the master controller of the vehicle all the operations of the vehicles and we have the sensors the sensors send information to the ECUs they are mechanical devices or what um, that convert or they are devices that convert mechanical energy to electrical signals these signals are what the ECU use to interpret and pass message to various controllers signal uh, um, controllers and whatever to pass this interest why actuators are actuators are devices that receive instruction they are mechanical devices that receive electrical instruction or signals and convert it to mechanical work so the usually have an actuating um, they have a device that can receive these signals from this issue and perform the needed instructions so ECU is usually reprogrammed and sometimes people repair and replace if ECU is 40 a lot of fault could come in fault code will appear um, wrong warning light will show all over the vehicle the vehicle may not even start if it starts up with poor performance because since ECU manage the vehicle it can bring several faults on similar faults like almost several faults can be associated with ECU so it's one of the most important or uh, is the brain of the vehicle and it's very important to you are going to be understanding in this course another is the lighting system the lighting system like we have light is important for driving at night and dark places for signals for showing signals light is important for um, warning as sign of safety whatever light serves as a lot even in in doors that is in the interior of the car light at to, to um, have a lot of function light 
system has there are several bulbs hundreds of bulbs in the vehicle with various functions and various lights with various functions and all are controlled by various systems and we have the dashboard which is an information center as in having a lot of um, gauge gauges and um, indicators <laughs> these gauges and this indication displays information for us uh, you have odometer speedometer four gauge um, command gauge warning lights and you even have the total distance cover and all that on the dash then we have the fuses on the relay those are very important because um, they supply they are the first point through which energy enters to majority of the electrical system the fuses and the relay the fuses have to protect every electrical system in the vehicle when current comes from the battery before it enters to the ECU or the motor it passes through the fuses the fuses um helps to protect them so that if excessive energy passes through the fuses rather than destroying that device the fuse is being destroyed so the fuse that has a destroying device that's why as a protective device that's why most times when um a device doesn't work the first thing you check is the fuse because if the fuse has been blown that device will not receive power then the relay are switching device they have to supply power to um certain device to electrical devices uh, system at a certain condition so the relay have been switching them on and the relay also if it's bad that device will not work well or perform optimally air condition is another important system that is also controlled electrically and we know the air condition work with the fans work with fans um, and a lot of other system and its own models the sun system another important system we have the airbag these are having actuators uses models to control their system then the electronic braking is very important um, braking for more effectiveness and special features um, brakes are being controlled with electrical with um, a lot of electrical principles and devices actuators in this braking this app to increase stability increase braking effect uh, make brake eating easy like in brake assist sometimes with sensors the vehicle can brake itself to avoid accidents and other there are more actuators in the vehicle like your wipers those um, wipers uh, actuators that help you clear off rain or snow and locks the locks of the vehicles are also electrically controlled your suspension could have a lot of electrical system um, like your um, pneumatic suspension which um, uses air pressure or oil to uh, for your shock absorber your pneumatic um, shock absorber and that is electrically controlled with several computerized models and your telecommunication systems all these uh, more systems that are controlled with um, models then we can look at um, various of these control models and um, control models are simply electronic system that receives signal from the sensors and interpret and decide the power that would go that are uh, or this tell the instruction that it will pass to the actuators it works like this they are like mini brains all over the vehicle each system has its own brain and this brain receives signal from sensors you know sensors are devices that convert mechanical energy they receive from the various parts of the vehicle into electrical energy and this energy um, 
work in a way that it's um, this mechanical energy is being converted to electrical signal this signal at certain levels have their interpretation and when they go to the sensor the sensor knows the state of that place and send an instruction suitable and that instruction goes as a signal to an actuator uh, all this interpretation and um, transition is being done by the control model and that actuator perform the action required eg i i want to open my door I send an electric signal by pressing a button on the key and the sensor see that button on the key means to open and that send a message to the actuator and the actuator open the vehicle so something like that to that signal and there is what we call multiplexing in um, vehicle and that is with checking of um, the that is with um, passing various voltage through a single wire in other vehicle you have got several wires for transmitting um instruction like if you want to open the door of a car through a lift or uh, there is an automatic electric door actuator lifter one or uh, door lock you want to open the door or uh, let me use the window the window you want to roll the window then and roll it up why roll in the window one wire yet a life and a grand wire uh, yeah a life and a grand wire positive and negative you know, would be to lift it up another would be to lift it down making it four wires then another for other instructions or uh, let's say your car seat you want to move it forward positive and negative one wire uh, uh that's two wires you want to move it backward other two wires you want to bend the address you want to adjust the address forward two wires again you want to adjust it um, adjust it downward two wire again you want to adjust the back rest you want to tint it towards the front two wires positive and negative or um left and ground then you want to adjust it backward the same two wires so there will be several hundreds of wire thousands of wire in the vehicle making it more complex so multiplex help you to do this with just three wires one of the wire will be a sensor wire to be um, positive and ground and at different voltage so you can send the signal to move the seat forward at two volt the signal to move it backward at four volt the signal to move the head rest forward or tint it forward at six volt the signal to tint it backward at 8 volt and the signal to tint the back rest forward at 10 volt and the signal to tint it backward at 12 volt this interpretation is being done by the um, control module or the module at that moment so all these are why um, motor vehicles are they operate so this is just an introduction on some of the basic components of the vehicle next in our next um, topic, we are going to talk more on um, repairs and more videos on our repairs and tests, fuses, and a lot. Thank you very much.